Hello, welcome to this SimScale demonstration. We're going to see how SimScale can be used to collaborate and to provide simulation templates. To do this, we're going to use a demo story where there's a product authority that requires a new snap fit design. That requirement is going to be passed to the design engineer who's going to realize that a new FEA simulation is required. So the design engineer will request a new simulation template from the CAE team so that they can complete this simulation. The CAE team will then provide a simulation template back to the design engineer. The design engineer will run some setup and then ask for the CAE team to check their setup for them. Finally, the design engineer will run a series of simulations using that approved simulation template and a new product design will be approved. So let's see how this works in the software. Okay, so here we are in SimScale. All I'm using here is a Google Chrome browser and we can view the simulation project that the CAE team is going to provide. They've loaded up a approved template for a pushpin that already exists, but obviously this could be generated specifically for the design engineer as well. So in this template, the CAE team are going to provide an example with all of the boundary conditions and the geometries assigned, as well as a template where the geometry and the boundary conditions are not assigned so that when this is provided to the design engineer, they can fill it out with their details. The CAE engineer can share this template directly with the design engineer that requested it. So let's have a look now at the view that the design engineer would see. The design engineer would be able to see from their SimScale dashboard that they now have a project shared with them, the Pushpin approved template. So we can open up this template, see what's been shared and open the project directly in SimScale. So we can see here the example that was shared and the template. We were only given copy only access to this. So in order to edit it, the design engineer would need to make a copy of it. The design engineer has gone through and assigned the necessary materials and boundary conditions now using the example provided and they've renamed the template to make it their new design study. However, before proceeding and starting a simulation, the simulation project can be shared directly back with the simulation team so that they can check on the setup and make amendments or recommendations to how the setup should be improved. The CAE engineer would now receive a notification that the project has been shared back with them. So let's have a look at a side-by-side -side view now of what the two would see. On the left hand side, we can see the project shared back with the CAE engineer and on the right hand side, the view that the design engineer had when they were setting up the simulation. So the CAE engineer could now open this project uh, to view the project settings and make any amendments or recommendations. And as soon as we do that, we can see this icon pop up in both displays to say to the design engineer that the CAE engineer is in the project and viewing or making changes. And we can see a similar icon in the CAE engineer's view to say that the design engineer is in there. So the CAE engineer may check some things in here and may make some recommendations perhaps to the material properties. Once the setup is complete, the design engineer can set off a series of simulations to assess the design. And the CA engineer can monitor the progress and check back in if required and help with the analysis of, of the results. Okay, so in summary, we've seen how 
different departments can collaborate on the same simulation projects. This can be from any country with no large file transfer requirements. CAE experts can provide vetted templates to the design teams. And this empowers the designers to run early stage iterative simulations themselves. The design engineers can focus on what's important to them, so the geometry, the materials, and the initial conditions and boundary conditions. And the simulation engineers can focus on providing vetted templates where they know that the numerics and the simulation control and the mesh settings are all set up to be correct for the simulations that the designers need to run. Thanks for watching.